Hey everyone, Jonathan Shannon here. I'm going to try to keep this video kind of short here. Uh, this is just for my YouTube channel, a personal video, um, a personal message. Um, and I just want to come on here and just kind of, um, you know, tell everyone that, you know, it's important as we go into Independence Day that we, we pause and we give thanks for... Um, for, you know, how blessed we are as a, as a country, um, you know, that we have this opportunity. Sorry, I, I've got this, I've got this cat right here, Fiona, trying to um, get my attention. <laughs> um, good thing I'm not taping the Citizen Report right now, or I'd have a lot of uh, stuff for a blooper reel or something. But um, just to get to my point here, um I just want people to understand how truly blessed we are as a country um, because, you know, look at all the, you know, think about China and think about, you know, Europe, much of Europe and um, Africa and pretty much everywhere else on earth with few exceptions just do not have the same kind of freedoms and liberties under, you know, that, that this country is so blessed um, that our founding fathers that they, that they, they understood that there were, that you know the way to do things is to allow the allow the people to be the sovereign of of this country, that the government was only created to protect rights, and that they understood that rights did not come from the government, they come from God. They you're born with rights, you're born with liberties. And I just want people to understand that, you know, even if you've never been outside of this country and you haven't really gotten a good grasp of, of how things are in other countries, I just want you to understand, you know, how blessed you are to be here because a lot of places in the world do not have the same kind of rights. Um, they don't, ha well, they have rights, but they aren't recognized. And, you know, it, it just want people to understand how crucially important it is to understand that even if you, as I said, even if you've never been outside the country, even if you really aren't in tune with what's going on in other parts of the world, I just want you to understand that, that how truly blessed we are because, you know, these rights are so precious and we must, must safeguard them and, and carry them on to the next generation because they, they're not guaranteed. We must, as every generation, as members of every generation, we must fight to preserve the American way of life, the, you know, to continue to push to be a country, a Christian nation, that we were, a, that we were founded as a, as a nation with Christian uh, principles. And by that, I mean that, that the, the value of each human life, born and unborn. And, and yes, unfortunately, we've had the awful act of murder, a.k.a. abortion, that's been sanctioned by legislation from the bench, a.k.a. the um, Supreme, U.S. Supreme Court. I do believe there will come a day where we finally get out from under Roe versus Wade and we get rid of that ruling and allow um, at least the opportunity to do away with abortion. But our country was founded upon, don't believe the lies of the mainstream media, understand that we were founded as a Christian nation. If you read the Declaration of Independence, it says that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator, by their creator, with certain unalienable rights. It's important to understand that that you know we we were founded with that in that that was how we that was how they articulated the founding of this country. If you were to do away with being by definition of Christian nation, you would have to do away with that Declaration of Independence, and we're not going to do that. And just understand as we go into Independence Day here in just a few minutes, really that just take a moment just to just to ponder upon how blessed we are and 
our best days are ahead of us. They're not behind. You know, we've had great days in the past. But as we go into the future, that we will take the good of the past and we will create an even better future here in America. And I just want people to understand that just because you've always, you know, you've had all these rights. Yes, I know not every state's perfect. Some states are better than others. But compared to other countries, there is no comparison. But compared to other countries, because, you know, you may have never had, you never, even if you've lived in a conservative state all your life and you've never really understood what it's like to live under communism, you know, unfortunately right now we basically have de facto communism like here in North Carolina with Governor Cooper, certain other individuals that are trying to destroy America, quite frankly, um, who have their marching orders, we'll say. But understand that notwithstanding all of that, that as a country, that we are truly blessed and we must um, revere and uphold this country and not let it slip away. I don't think it will slip away, but it's important for people to understand how truly blessed we are. It is not, do not believe the lies, and I know I'm kind of rambling, but uh, I'm just kind of, I, this is just kind of, you know, just me, this is just me talking and I'll wrap this up shortly, but let me just say, do not believe the lies of the mainstream media. You truly live in a very, you are truly blessed to live here. And really we should all thank God that we have this country to call home, you know, as long as we are alive in this life. Um, and that we can strive to make it an even better country and, um, you know, restore the, the principles of the Republic as our founding fathers had envisioned of liberty, personal liberty. And, um, I truly believe we are heading ultimately in that direction. Um, and I just hope that people understand that, that we, we truly live in a blessed, we are truly blessed to live in this country. And, and you should not believe the lies that this is somehow an evil country, you know, in terms of, oh, you know, our, we were founded off the backs of slavery. No, that's not true. They, they inflate things and they distort things to make, make their narrative fit the way they want, want, how they want it to fit. But on that note, I, nothing profound in this video, but I just wanted to kind of just share some, my, some of my own insights and just, and just try to get you to understand that, that don't take this country for granted. You are truly blessed to live here. And, um, you know, think about China and think about Hong Kong and how much the people there, their flag of freedom is the American flag. That's how much, that is how they see this country. The people in Hong Kong who want freedom from the tyranny and communism. That's why we say, don't tread on me. We're When we say, don't tread on me, for one thing, we're talking about, you know, tyranny of men, ungodly men trying to rule over people oppressively. And you're also talking about, in a modern sense, communism. And the people in Hong Kong, that their flag of freedom is the American flag. And that should tell you a lot right there. They want to be free. And I hope that the, that the people of Hong Kong ultimately gain the freedom they so, they so desire to live outside from ungodly tyranny of China. Um, and just understand that in our other countries as well, that you know they, they live under oppression and they don't have the kind of liberties that we do, you know, recognized and everything. So don't take, don't take this country for granted. Understand how truly blessed you are to be here. All right? So on that note, I'll wrap it up here. And um, uh, I probably, I, I, um, I taped a citizen report last night regarding the face mask cards. If you haven't already watched that, please go watch that um, on my YouTube channel. And uh, I will I will be taping um, the Citizen Report another episode, um, probably not tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but you know we'll see. But it'll be coming forthcoming in the coming days. Another episode, 
So on that note, thank you for watching this video. Nothing profound again, but I hope I hope so, I hope somebody was blessed by this video tonight. And um, happy Independence Day to everyone, and and uh, may we all um, give thanks to you know how blessed and how how blessed we are as a country. That yes, we're having to fight to get back our rights from these tyrants like Governor Cooper and such. But we are truly a blessed country, and um, just never forget how blessed we are to have a country like this, one nation under God. So, um, you know, we are a Christian nation, and we should never forget that. All right, everyone. Have a great night, everyone, and, um, and um, as I said, happy Independence Day.